Hello everyone, we are back in Farming with Friends and I have more stuff to show you. I'm going to reset my farm again really quickly because this I've figured out from my brain that this is the best way to start off in Farming with Friends. We're going to reset our farm again really quickly. Hold on. Beep, bop, boop, bop, boop, delete. There we go. We have a new farm. <laughs> So, when you first start off in Farming and Friends, this is what your farm looks like. Wow. And I don't know if there's a tutorial in the game, or I don't know how it works, essentially, when you first start playing the game. But when you have a farm like this, we're just going to play it very simply. But then you're going to hear something that you're not going to expect to hear. Also, I like the red colored equipment. But we're going to go ahead, just play the game how it's meant to be played. And then I'm going to show you this trick. I know it's not clickbait. I'm not going to hold it off until, like, it's been, like... 10 minutes and then I'll show you the trick. No, we're not going to do it like that. We're going to show you once we sell the wheat because it doesn't really matter. Actually, it does sort of matter. After we pick up the wheat, I'll show you the trick. But once you have all of the wheat picked up, we're just going to dump it into our trailer. And then this is where things get a little bit crazy. You might not expect to hear it, but give me a second. We have to wait. We have to wait for the wheat to pour out. There we go. Okay. So now we're ready. So what you want to do, you want to go to the build menu. You want to click sell. You might be wondering, what are we selling? Are we selling our tractor? Are we selling our wheat like this? No, we're not doing any of that. We're selling the road. And then we're selling this road. We don't need roads. Our farm doesn't need to be pretty because it gives us coins. But it doesn't really matter when we sell the roads because we don't really get that many coins. But what we get coins from is selling the barn behind us. Or the garage, I guess. The garage. But look at that. We just got 326 free coins as a new player without having to sell a single crop in the game. But that leaves our farm a little bare. But guess what? You don't even need the garage. The garage is absolutely useless now. So because of the last updates, of, I mean, it's not absolutely useless. I'll take that back. It's good for storage. Like, look at this garage here. Massive. I even have a garage on my other farm. But what I'm trying to point out is that the garage is unnecessary for what you're trying to do. Also, let's sell our wheat really quickly. I don't even know what the price is. Oh, it's rainbow, it's beautiful. Okay, hold on. Oh, don't rear end me, please. There we go, we're selling this, 210, oh, why is everyone hitting me? Please don't. Uh, but what I'm trying to point out is we now have 536 coins and all we've done is sold one little truckload of wheat. But with those 536 coins, we can literally upgrade to the next crop. We don't have to plant wheat anymore because if we kept the garage, then all we can afford is another box of wheat. But guess what? We're not buying wheat, we're buying corn. Look at this, because corn costs you 250 a box and this is pretty cheap. So let's go ahead, buy it and we can plant this. And the reason I'm saying the garage is unnecessary is because when they updated the game recently, they redid how the whole vehicle respawning system works. So for example, if you leave your tractor parked in front of uh, Farmco, that store there, and you leave the game, you would, I don't know, I don't remember how it used to work, but how it works now. <laughs> <laughs> how it works now is that the vehicle will disappear and it will just be a little thing in your inventory. So if you click respawn objects at the top of your screen, it'll just say respawn, respawn, um, and it'll say uh, respawn this so you can see it because it doesn't exist. So then you click respawn, but you don't need the garage for that. It'll just respawn in the front of your farm and that's it. So that's a pretty good way to save some money in the game. But comment below, should I have kept the garage? I don't think so, but... I mean, that's free coins and it saves us some time, especially if you're a newer player. Now you have a head start in the game. Uh, a lot of people talking in the chat. I don't know what's being said, so I'm just going to close it again. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> so again, if you are a new player, let's go over some of the basics for the game now that you have some corn to plant because uh, we have to move this out of the way, move our little combine back a little. There we go. So corn is probably the second worst crop in the game, but it is better than wheat. It has a higher selling price. Uh, it grows a little bit. It takes a little bit longer to grow, but it's not really that noticeable, especially because it's um, like an early game crop. They take relatively little time to actually fully grow. Just give it a minute or two and it'll be done. But the better crops you can plant, the more money you will make. And by selling your garage that you don't need, but the game gives you for free, you can get a little head start. So I forgot to mention, or maybe I did, I don't know, but we went ahead, we plowed our field with our plow. Now this person is parked in front of our cultivator. Uh, excuse me. There we go. So now we have our cultivator and what this does is it will go ahead and it will smooth out these 
rows of dirt we have. I don't remember what they're called. They're, uh, they like tilled the dirt or something. Uh, let's just run some people over casually. Crime is legal on my farm. And voila. So you have to do it in this order. You have to go ahead, plow it first, then cultivate it. It doesn't work the other way around. But once you've done both of those steps, excuse me, uh, then you can actually go ahead and start planting the seeds. And you also might be wondering if you can actually get a larger farm. Of course you can. You can buy more land. I'll show you how to in just a second once we actually get our crops planted. So we're just going to park this here in our invisible garage now because we have to use our imagination for that because we exchanged it for 300 coins. But just imagine we have a nice beautiful red garage or barn. I called it a barn earlier or garage. It's a garage though. We have a nice beautiful red garage in our imagination but no one else can see it. <laughs> that was great. So we've gone ahead, we've done all of that, and now it's ready to be, um, eventually, <laughs> it's ready to eventually be picked up with our cultivator. And there's several things you can actually save up for when you first start off on the game. Uh, you can either, I mean, what I'm going to tell you what I recommend, but you can either save up for better seeds or you can upgrade your tractor. But we're going to save up for better seeds. We want to go ahead and start planting we, uh, corn, or not, we're planting corn. We want to plant rice because rice is better than corn. But we can't afford rice because we need 2,000 coins. But once we sell this corn, you will see just how much money we actually will get. But we'll have to buy more corn and then sell it and then buy more corn and sell it. And maybe by then we'll be able to afford the rice. So the corn is ready to grow. There's a little uh, bar here that will tell you how much it or how fully it is grown. So if you run it over with your combine and it's not ready to be harvested, don't worry. It'll just stay there growing until it is ready. But if it is ready, you'll see a bunch of little corns flying in the air and you'll see this icon here with a combine saying harvest me. So we need to find our tractor trailer. Here it is. Uh, we're just going to dump this into here really quickly. All 50 corn. Beautiful. OK, looking at the board, we just can barely see it. We're selling corn for 10 apiece. That's pretty nice. Not that great, but not that bad. Uh, let's go ahead, sell it and we get a total of 525 coins. Now, if you join the Dun Games group, who's the developer of this game, you get an extra 5% every time you sell your crops. Now, that isn't that much, especially if you are a newer player, but if you play the game later on, that will turn into hundreds and then thousands, not millions, not millions, but thousands. So we're back at the store. We have 811 coins, but we need to buy some more corn because again, if you look at the board, rice is 2000 a piece or per box. So we can't necessarily afford that yet. We could also expand our field. We'll look at the prices for that in just a second. I'll show you how to actually expand it, but I don't think we want to do that just yet. And you might also be thinking about buying better equipment so early on in the game. And while that is a good mindset to have, you don't really want to do it because it's expensive. First off, you want to get some better crops uh, planted on your farm um, because you don't want to. I don't, it's hard to explain, but stick with your level one equipment until. Um, yeah, Let's just stick with it. Because if you want to get a better uh, plow or better cultivator or better cedar or any of that, you'll have to have a better tractor and that all starts off with buying one for I think the next level up is 4,500 coins. So if you want to buy that great, but then you also have to like save up for the equipment and by then you might be pretty low in terms of coins. And I usually don't like having the chat closed, but I just feel like there's so many chats in there. It's getting a little overwhelming, especially if I try to keep up with it, which is very uh, tough to do, especially while recording at the same time. So I just watch the number get higher and higher and higher as uh, it stays closed. And when it's raining in the game, it's a great time to plant your crops because it will speed up the growth time. So we're going to try and get the, uh, the corn planted as quickly as possible, but we have to go ahead and finalize cultivating the field first. And there we go. That wasn't that bad. So we're going to attach the cedar, pick up the corn really quickly. Come on, come on. There we go. A little bit of lag. Uh, fill the cedar, press the wrong button, and there we go. So once this gets planted, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to expand our field, and then I'm going to think about actually expanding it. But I don't think we will just yet. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't know yet. So let's go ahead, drop our cedar off in our invisible garage, pick up our visible trailer, and just wait for the corn to finish growing. 
But in case you are interested in expanding your field, you want to go ahead and go into the build mode right here, go to field, and you'll see two different types of soil. You just want to get the standard field for 15 coins a piece, and this is what it looks like. Uh, we're going to expand it, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we want to get it uh, to 50 tiles because that's an exact uh, box. So this is currently 28 tiles, and this will be 50 tiles here for 750 coins, which we can't afford. But probably after we sell this ba uh, batch of corn, we can actually double the size of our field. So we'll hold off on that just for a little bit, and then we'll actually go ahead and expand it. Actually, do I don't I don't want to expand it. That we're not we're not going to expand it. I cancel that. Because the problem with expanding is that um, the trailer only holds 50 crops uh, and that takes a while because then you have to go all drive all the way over and sell. Luckily our farm location is pretty close, but that does get a little tedious because you could just also like plant corn and by the time you get back to your farm it'll be fully grown or something, I don't know. But we're gonna not expand our field for now. Later on, it's good. Uh, unless you think differently, maybe you won't expand it, but personally I'm going to hold off on it. It'll definitely be worth expanding the field once we have a level 2 tractor because with the level 2 tractor we can buy a trailer that can hold 100 seeds. I really think it's just like the... It's just the trailer that holds us back from actually wanting to expand the field. But that's just my personal thought. Maybe you think something differently, maybe you want to do something differently with your farm, but this is your farm, so do whatever you want. But look at this, our corn grew really quickly because it was raining, so let's go sell this really quickly and prepare to plant corn again. Oh gosh. Look at this. It's red. When it's red, you don't want to sell. Let's see how much it will give us, though. <laughs> I mean, it only dropped two coins. Um, I mean, we'll get 420 coins. If it's below... Why are you hitting me? Um, if it's below 250 coins, though, then you don't want to sell because then that means you'll actually be losing money because it costs 250 coins for that box we just bought. But because it is 420 coins and the board refreshes every five minutes, I might as well just go ahead and sell it because by the time it refreshes, we will have um, we'll have uh, another batch of corn to sell instead of just waiting and doing nothing. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's clones of me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Who's the real one? Yeah, the person with like the identical avatar than the one that has like the uh, the cheaper <laughs> stuff because I think this uh, set was like 5,000 Robux. I bought it on accident, um, but then I just made it into my avatar and it worked out. But anyways, we go back to our invisible garage to go ahead and get our visible equipment and then we can go ahead and prepare a field and then go sell. So like I said, by the time the price refreshed, it will be much better, and now it is at 12 piece, so that's I think that's pretty much the highest it goes. So we're selling this for 630 coins, which brings us up to 1,361. So I think after we sell corn two or three more times, we will finally... Oh. <laughs> Hello. I will finally be able to afford to upgrade to rice. But again, we're just going to buy one box. You don't even have to set it on the counter. You can just hold it and buy it. There we go. And that drops us down to 1,000, uh, 11111 money. <laughs> and we're stuck. I just love how bare our farm is. Like, if we literally deleted everything on our farm, then there'd be nothing and it'd just be even more bare. That'd be fun. Like, join a server with a bunch of fans and then, or like the fans follow you in. And then, like, have an empty farm where it's just like an empty field and they're like, where's Bunny's farm? Um, yeah, that's my farm. <laughs> the empty field one. I don't know, maybe we could grow some hay bales or something. I don't know. But anyways, let's do some more corn stuff. By the end of this video, I guarantee you, you'll have rice planted on your farm. But I mean, the prices do change randomly at the store, so maybe you'll have to sell it one more time, or hey, maybe you're lucky and you don't have to sell corn as much as I do, I don't know. And now let's go ahead and load up our one box of corn into here, and I do appreciate the gifts other fans are trying to give me, but I can't accept those, so all those boxes in there aren't actually mine. Uh, because the whole point of this series, this video at least, is to show you how to become a decent farmer when you first start playing Farming and Friends. So, that's what this whole video guide is about anyways. 
But it's, it's, it's supposed to give you like tips for how to make money as quickly as possible. And this is my way of making money, the best way I know. Uh, maybe there's, there's other ways you can make this even better. So if you know a better way, especially the experienced players who might be watching this, feel free to leave a comment and I will definitely read it. Also, our farm is absolutely crowded with equipment. Um, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Just remember, if it's not red, it's not mine. Also, I appreciate the seeds, but I can't accept them. I'm sorry. Also, this is animal feed, too. <laughs> and once again, it's time to sell our corn. It's not rainbow anymore, but I mean, the price hardly ever changes that much. I mean, it's literally it went down one coin, so it's pretty much still as good as it was. So we are now up to one thousand six hundred and eighty eight coins. That's great, but it's not enough. So we're going to go ahead. I think we'll have to buy two more boxes in total. I know I could just buy all two while I'm here, but I'm just really hoping that maybe somehow we can sell the next batch for like 600 coins, which actually I think is possible. It's pretty possible. So let's just sell this. Hope the price does not go down. I mean, if it goes down to 10, that's fine, but let's not let it turn red. So now is the moment of truth. It doesn't look good for us. It really doesn't look good. I see how red it is. <laughs> it's more red than my tractor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it dropped to eight. So <clears throat> we have choices. We could either sell, be like, whoop de doo or we wait. I think we'll wait. I'm not in a rush. I can like microwave a hot dog or something while I wait. So yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I mean, it can only go up unless it just stays eight, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it some time. I'll be back. Okay, and we were patient, and the price is updated to 10. That's not that good. We need 600. That's only 500. I mean, we'll just sell it because if we wait for the price to update, it'll literally, um, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll literally just be time that we can spend, um, <laughs> growing corn instead. So we're just going to grow this because it takes less than five minutes to grow corn. I mean, you have to like plow the field and all that, but that's all less than five minutes. So yes, we have to buy another box. Be oh wait. Oh yeah. I was about to say, but we were like, we, we were, I think 37 coins short from affording rice. And if you look at rice, one rice sells for 56 coins right now. Think about that. And now that you've thought about it, <laughs> keep selling some corn until you can afford it. Um, so we're going to park that there and just, yeah, do it all over again. Ow. So, this is the moment of truth. I don't even think the price is updated. It's still 10, so hopefully it doesn't change right when we sell. Come on, show me the menu. There we go, 525 coins, and now we have 2,238 coins. Oh my gosh, look at all the seeds. <laughs> wow. So, let's park here. Let's look inside. Look at the rice. It's beautiful. Look at that. I can afford it. Uh, we'll just talk to this guy. There's a wall of uh, boxes in front of him. And I think before we end this video, we should at least sell one load of rice because that's the whole point of this video was to progress as far as we can, um, as quickly as we can. And here we are. We did it. So let's celebrate by selling the rice really quickly. Uh, I mean, I say quickly, but we first have to like uh, prepare the field. But at this point, I mean, as of recording, it's been 47 minutes. By the time you see this video get edited and everything, and it's on YouTube, it's going to be much shorter than that. But just to put that into perspective, it took me 47 minutes to get from a brand new farm all the way up to rice. And rice isn't that great of a crop, but compared to corn and wheat, it's better. And no, we can't afford to upgrade any of our equipment yet. That's a little bit down the roads. Uh, if you want to get a better tractor, you have to save up 4,500 coins. Uh, but then even, yeah, but even then, like, um, I think it's best to pair that with buying a trailer as well, because then you can efficiently have a larger field and fill up the entire trailer. Um, 
yeah, that's just my logic though. And that's definitely something we will be covering in the next Farming and Friends video. But for now, we just work on progressing this farm as much as we can, and that's just by um, planting crops over and over and over. So after 8 minutes and some very helpful rain, we are now ready to harvest our wheat, or <clears throat> our rice. Looks like wheat, but it's rice. And it's nice to see the different crop texture, look at it, very nice. So what I was thinking while I pondered life and this recording <laughs> while I waited for the rice to grow, was that with each batch of corn I would profit probably around 300 to 350 coins. Now, with, uh, oh, my mouse, my mouse came, oh, did my mouse, oh, my mouse died, oh, that's great. Okay, I at least have a second backup mouse. Look at that. That was how quickly I got to my second backup mouse. I didn't even have to edit the video to cancel that out. Um, but like I was saying, while I was pondering life, I figured that we were making about 300 to 350 coins per uh, batch of corn. But with uh, rice, it takes about double the time to actually um, grow it. So what I'm expecting to see to make rice better than corn is for rice's profit to be double that of corn. So it should be like 600 coins. But look at rice, it's red. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, we'll wait before we sell, but we can always just test the waters. So look at this. Here we have some money. So keep in mind, this is a bad price. It's 48 coins per rice. We don't want to sell it that. But from this, it cost us 2,000 for the box. And then with all the little bonuses that get added, we are going to profit 520 coins. I mean, 2,520 coins, but you always have to buy another box of seeds if you want to keep making money. But we're going to wait a little until the price changes. Okay, the price updated by two coins. That's still pretty terrible. We're going to wait even more. <laughs> So the price of rice has changed, and that changes everything for us because it's pretty decent. It's 58 coins per rice, so that's a lot of money. Look at this. Look at this. 3,045 coins, meaning we're making 1,000 coins from this. That's great. Look at that. So that's where we are going to be ending today's video uh, in terms of crops. But we're going to take a look at Farmco, see what other crops we can afford later on. You can actually see. I keep scrolling on accident. I'm trying to zoom my camera out. There we go. So, the rice is 2,000, but if we want to get bamboo, it's 8,400. So, you want to stick with rice, and what your gamer, uh, pro gamer move will be, we're going to drive over to the vehicle store so we can talk about specifics, your pro gamer move is going to be to stick with rice. You only have to sell it a few more times, and then, I mean, each batch of rice gives you about 1,000 coins if you sell it at a good price. So, if you want to get or what you want to do, in my opinion, is you want to get this tractor. We're going to level two. <clears throat> you want to get a level two tractor, which is the H488 right here. And what the level two tractor lets you do is it lets you attach level two equipment. So this is 4,500 coins. So what you have to do is you have to sell rice um, a few times. I mean, technically you'd have to sell it five times, but you can also look into expanding your field. Now, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to sell the rice the four or five times I have to sell it, and then I'm going to buy this. And then we can also save up to get one of the better trailers, because after buying that, the next thing I want to do is I want to buy this trailer here for, again, 4,500 coins. So that's a 9,000 coin total purchase that I have to save up for. So I have to sell rice nine times on my little tiny field. But you can also start using some of the uh, better plows, the better cultivator, oh, wrong section, there we go. You can use like some of the better plows, cultivators, uh, because when you use better equipment like this, it'll help your crops grow faster. But I don't find that to be an urgent matter, especially with such a small field, because you can also get ones that plow more than one tile, but that's for later on. And then, it's, uh, and then for harvesters, I, you don't really need to upgrade them at all. Just don't, don't bother, just stick with the one you have. But that is it for today's video everyone, if you did enjoy consider pressing the like button or subscribing. Stay tuned for more episodes in the series, I'm also continuing the chocolate milk series so yeah, that's uh, gonna be mingling with this one so just expect videos from both of the series coming out every now and then. But other than that, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye!